Here is the grand finals of the Mead Tournament of 2020. Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Today we're finishing out the Mead Tournament of 2020. If you are familiar with the channel, you might have seen the 2018 Mead Tournament, and it took me a couple years, but here we are. In 2020, I have faced 16 of my newest, some of my newest meads and some of my old meads um, in to this tournament. And uh, I included the winner from the 2018 mead and the runner up. Um, however, they have not made it this far. So we are now going to be crowning a new champion at the end of this video. Here's currently what the board looks like. Here's the board currently. You can see that I will include all of the names, everything that's been knocked out, and everything that is currently still active. We are left with Meads number 12 and Mead number 16 as the grand finalist uh, competitors. So, um, of course, I want you to, in the comments, predict who you think will win, because I think that would be really interesting. But we're going to go ahead and get started, and this round's going to be really hard, because we've dictated, or we've broken down these Meads into our personal favorites and while there has been um we've we've talked about reasons why we prefer some others over others uh i think we've come down and, and voted that these two are the best ones um so this is going to be really tough let's go ahead and, and do it this is mead number 12 versus mead number 16. All right, here is number 12 versus number 16. We're going to start with number 12. Okay, so I'm realizing the alcohol is a little more present in this than mm -hmm. I originally realized. Uh, what do you think the ABV on this one is? It's not a trick question. I'm not trying to. <clears throat> it, it does feel like it is less than 16 with pineapple habanero. I mm -hmm. uh, feel like it is less than 13%. Okay. Somewhere in there. 10 to 12. What do you think? 8. I catch it in the nose quite a bit though. So, But it just feels, I mean, it's a little out of balance maybe. Mm -hmm. The alcohol itself is. I'll, I will tell you, I think the range of all these has, so far has been at least 12 to up to maybe 18 okay. uh, today on all of these. I don't wow. think I have anything below 12. So wow. this thing, I'll put of course on the screen what it is. But I think it's about 13 or 14. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. But there, this one, the sweetness really helps counteract how, I mean, the, the alcohol is more present, like you're saying. It definitely is, it's kind of in your face, but the the sweetness, and then there's just like the roundness of this, the mixed berry that I really like. That's working mm -hmm. well. I can't remember, I should know this, but I made two of these mixed berry meats. I used like a berry medley from Sam's for one, and then I also used like a fake Amaretti, like, uh, not fake, but a alternative flavoring for mixed berry. So I think this one was from my real berries I put in. I like it. I think it's good. Um, we're going to put it up here. It's in the green slot. In a moment, what we're going to do, we will be voting um, on which one we think is the winner. And the reason, of course, there's three of us is because I wanted to bring friends into this, but it's helpful to also have some more um, voting power and input. So let's move on now to mead number 16. Here we are. Again, these are very different. With this being, um, I, we still think this one's the pineapple habanero. We think that one's a mixed berry. If we're wrong, then <laughs> something's that, wrong. With well, us. the funny thing is, in the 2018 tournament, I got all the way to the grand finals. I didn't know what the the um, I knew what the peppermint was, but the other one, which was apple cinnamon, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and I like I. Ended up crowning it winner and then having to go back and find out what it was. So, it's funny that we know what this is mm -hmm. this time. I like this one. It's very smooth. I feel like they have similar alcohol burn, though. Maybe it's the burn from the... I don't, um, I don't yeah, catch it in the nose at all. You know? No, but I do catch the peppers in the back of the throat quite a bit. Yeah, oh, I guess it's the pepper. This has more sweetness. The mixed berry, for sure, on the nose. Man, this is tough. This is, I think, two of... Two of my best, hopefully two of my best at this point. All right. All right. <clears throat> Seems All like it's time to make a choice. All three? Hold on, I gotta think. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I think about I this. Can't just, I, I'm, I, I can't just jump in the pool. I, I feel can't. confident in 
mine. You I, feel confident? Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel confident in mine. I'm pretty no, so I don't feel mine. confident in mine. <laughs> Dang it. I feel very confident in my choice. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, hold on. This is... <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> maybe it's because of the problem with my own. That's yeah. Maybe it makes it's like picking between your own children. Huh, do this. Which one do you like more? That's hard. <laughs> That's the Just challenge. say it without thinking. No, uh, they're, they're very even right now. Literally very even. I think there's a clear winner here. Don't swing. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> I think that one of them is very obviously better than the other one. Um, <laughs> gotta make a choice. Which side? Okay. I made my choice. Alright. All right. Three. <laughs> Two, one, drop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh I guess yeah. you didn't have to think too hard. Well, yeah, yeah. okay, so I, I weighed it down. Um, I feel like I like the mixed berry, but this is much smoother. Mm-hmm. Like, it's much smoother. It's got better honey character, in my opinion. It's, it's just got a better still, balance. Like, it's still niche, though. It's, but I like that. I like the fact of that. Yeah. The, yeah, not everyone's understand. gonna like the habanero. Yeah. yeah, I just, I it's grown on me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely better than the last time I had it a few mm-hmm. months ago. Um, if I don't know if it was the same batch. That was or, a different one actually. Okay. I think the one you had before. But, yeah, the other one was like way peppery, like over I, overwhelmingly peppery. Yeah. So, the mead winner of the twenty twenty tournament is the mead number 16 which we believe is the pineapple habanero and i'm fairly confident in that and i think we're all fairly confident in that because uh it's hard to miss a habanero pepper Mm -hmm. but that is crowned the winner of this and um again this has been very interesting because if you can see the board we we had the um some winners from the previous tournament occur and we also had some I, i'm very surprised that some of them didn't make it further in fact um what i want to do is i want to talk about here in a second in um kind of like a little after show uh about some things that might have surprised us about this tournament but this thing is really really good and if you picked the pineapple habanero to win the whole tournament then man awesome job i would love to hear what you thought was going to win it um it's interesting. It, that's that's kind of the fun of this. So, man, I, I'm just very shocked. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to go check out the 2018 tournament, I of course, that's on YouTube, and I'll put a link to that. There is a link to the other videos, the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. Um, if you want to see the kind of after show uh, as we talk about a little bit of this process and, um, you know, maybe some things that surprised us, I'll have a video about that. But I appreciate you guys taking your time. Go check out the other videos if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.